Hello, my name's Charlie. Um, I'm in recovery. I'm coming up on two years clean. Um, my story was the fact that my addiction came to a point where I got up every morning, I had to use drugs, I had to drink alcohol, I upset everyone and everything around me and there was no way out, I didn't feel every day. The only way I masked my problems was through taking heroin and drinking cider. My mother was getting to the stage where it was like, you've got to change, otherwise this is it. My father's already gone, my brother's gone through crack cocaine and hence I'm taking heroin, not a good thing to be doing. I was going to one recovery, getting my medication. I'd been doing this for 10 years. This is how insane addiction is. And the one day, the light bulb day for me, which I can feel going through me now, is one of the employees from one recovery asked me for a self assessment as in to get me into the BAC as he is in recovery himself he you know it gave me inspiration it gave me that he can do it so I can do it surely and I just said to him I've had enough so the referral you know was a thing for me to maybe look up to in life because that's the only thing I had I only had believe me so then this time came you know I had a letter come through from the BAC asking me to come to for a pre 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 assessment sort of situation. So I would visit the BAC and I would, you know, talk about my feelings and how I was and what I was consuming, just so they could get an idea of where, where to go, you know, in time. Obviously, you know, you've got to, you've got to turn up and you've got to be there. So it it's all about myself. I had to do this and I did. Eventually I got I got I got a place, I got a bed in the BAC, going through detox, got myself, you know, titrated off some text and got my feelings back and things all changed and, you know, life was back, so to speak. But coping with that sometimes is, is a big thing. And from then on, you know, it's into the therapy house. So then you spend 16 weeks doing 12 weeks of therapy, trying to get you back into the community but talking about your issues is so important. So whatever shame, guilt, trauma, anything I had in my life, I had to talk about, and I did. The emotions came, everything came, and through thick and thin, the trust that I had in these people and the BAC and my peers has become that immense. I'm emotional now talking to you. Well, it's got me to a place now. I'm nearly two years clean. I volunteered at the tea rooms as well at that time, you know, in semi-independent living, which is part of the BAC, which is so special. It gives you that opportunity to get out there, to find yourself, to experience life again, but it still have people around you who are all addicts that can talk to you and talk about your feelings instead of going out using. This is the key. Keep your side of the street clean, we say. However, you know, I've gone through volunteering. Now I'm employed. I have my own sponsor who's on the NA side, but that's another story, you know, that's another a path I've been able to take because I, I don't have to use anymore. I haven't got that obsession, that compulsive, horrible thing on my shoulders talking to me in my ear saying, you must have, you must. I can manage it. I can be resilient now and it's it's a lovely thing, you know. We can't we've gotta we've gotta just Manage it, you know, manage it in the way I'm doing, talking, talking. I never believed talking about my issues would solve all my problems in addiction, but it has. But I must maintain it. And I am doing, and it's been a blessing. And now I'm employed, actually, at the tea rooms here, which is part of the BAC Social Enterprise. I've actually saved some money, which is a mega bonus, you know. I'm looking at going on to get my own flat. You know, I've got other opportunities which are coming to try and help the recovering addicts out there. I've still got all my peers and all my support, which is so important for me. You know, I'm going to the gym now. I'm going, enjoying nature. I'm eating properly. I'm looking after myself, self-care, you know. I'm, I'm doing the odd course here and there on, on mental health. Everything just is coming. It's quite fearful, but, you know, we just have a go and see what happens. And... It's uh, it's a hell of a lot compared to what I had, you know. I was thinking about jumping in front of traffic. I was thinking about, you know, nothing. I had nothing positive in my mind. My mum said, think positive. I could not think positive at all. But today, I can.